Hi all, this is the Bible study for Revelation chapter 9 and we're just going to read through and then break it down, give a few pointers and talk through the complexities of this passage. So if you've got your Bibles with you, uh, we're going to read um, Revelation chapter 9 verses 1 to 21. And just before we do, whilst you're finding your uh, Bibles, I'll just say a quick prayer. Dear Lord, as we open your word now, we just pray that this, the complexities of this chapter, the warnings of this chapter, and the revelation that we see within the text of Revelation of what is to come, Lord, uh, we just pray you'll impress it on our hearts, our minds and our souls. And we pray that as we read your word, it will penetrate and just um, deepen an urgency um, to tell others and to warn others of those things that are to come and that to tell others of the life giving promise the life promise of salvation through the name of Jesus Christ that prevents and uh, keeps the safety of all those that put their trust in him we pray this in Jesus' name Amen Right then, so Revelation chapter 9, verses 1 to 21, and I'll read now. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it, like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. And out of the smoke, locusts came down upon the earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not given power to kill them, but only to torture them for five months. And the agony they suffered was like that of the sting of a scorpion when it strikes a man. During those days, men will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. The locusts looked like horses prepared for battle. On their heads, they wore something like crowns of gold, and their faces resembled human faces. Their hair was like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. They had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the thundering of many horses and chariots rushing into battle. They had tails and stings like scorpions, and in their tails they had power to torment people for five months. They had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek, Apollon, Apollyon. The first woe is past. Two other woes are yet to come. The sixth angel sounded his trumpet, and I heard a voice coming from the horns of the golden altar that is before God. It said to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. And the four angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. The number of the mounted troops was 200 million. I heard their number. The horses and riders I saw in my vision looked like this. Their breastplates were fiery red, dark blue and yellow as sulphur. The heads of the horses resembled the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke and sulphur. A third of mankind was killed by the three plagues of fire, smoke and sulphur that came out of their mouths. The power of the horses was in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails were like snakes, having heads which they inflict injury. The rest of mankind that were not killed by these plagues still 
did not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worshipping demons and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone and wood. Idols that cannot see or hear or walk. Nor did they repent of their murders, their magic arts, their sexual immorality or their thefts. So that is the passage of Revelation chapter 9 verses 1 to 21 and we'll work through it now and break it down. So a quick recap. Revelation at chapter 8 talks about seven seals and seven trumpets and then it starts to break down some of those trumpets. Trumpet 1 when vegetation was struck. Trumpet 2 when the seas were struck. Trumpet three, the waters were struck. And trumpet four, the heavens were struck. And of course, you can read back into that and watch the video uh, podcasts um, where we alternate week on week with leading these uh, Bible studies. So here we are in Revelation chapter nine, trumpet five, the locusts from the bottomless pit, and trumpet six, the angels from the Euphrates. So the fifth trumpet sounded by the fifth angel, and we read, the abyss was opened, and when it was opened, smoke arose from a gigantic furnace. So just picture that. The abyss was opened up, and underneath, was a gigantic furnace and the mind boggles what fires that furnace what keeps it fueled when the abyss was opened up the smoke arose and the sun and the sky were darkened were told locusts then came upon the earth like that of scorpions and I don't know if you've seen one of the modern uh, adaptations of the film, The Mummy, um, with Brendan Fraser in, uh, a Hollywood movie. Um, there are scarabs, little beetles that actually uh, form like a locust, I think, in that film. And they scavenge and they move across and they devour more so human, pe uh, human beings in that film, uh, rated a 12. But that's what I sort of visualise, these locusts coming as like little scorpions, as we're told here. Um, but we're told other things as well. So their purpose was not to ravage, in this case, the plants, the trees or the vegetation, but solely to harass all those people that did not have the mark and the seal of God on their forehead. And let me say... I just pray to God that you are one of those saints and you are clearly living for Christ, marked out with the seal of God upon you and your life. So they were sent not to kill them, not to kill those humans, but to harass them for five long, hard months. Awful. And during this time, we read in verse 6, which I'll read again. During those days, men will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. So people would rather be dead than face the torment and the torture that is to come. But that will be withheld from them. They won't be able to take their life. They won't be able to end their life in that sense. They will long for death, but it will elude them. Terrible. Chapter 9, verses 7 to 12 describes these locusts. And it's an awful imagery, really. It's terrifying. The locusts that will look like horses. Now, will they look like what we understand as horses in size? in stature or will they resemble horses with the face and the features we just don't know do we but they're prepared for battle 
they're prepared to torment the individuals that we've just spoke about for a period of five months. And on the head, it describes something that looks like a, a golden crown on the head, maybe battle dress that we see in, uh, you know, medieval knight horses and things. Maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's literal gold, um, crowns of gold that sit on the head like we would uh, imagine a king or queen. I don't know. And their faces <clears throat> resembled human faces. So again, these locusts that appear like um, possibly the size of horses, but with human faces, terrifying. And they've got hair, um, long hair it says, like women's hair, I guess. I guess that's what it means by long, uh, by women's hair, long hair. But what will that look like? Will it be nicely permed? Will it be long and dishevelled? Uh, because we're talking about an imagery and a time where uh, these individuals, you know, Christians, weren't in and out of the hairdressers every day. So this imagery of it being like women's hair, I guess it will just be long hair covering their head. Again, a bizarre image. Their teeth will look like lion's teeth. So again, mighty gnashers on these beastly creatures. And they wore breastplates of iron. Now the sound of their wings beating away were like the thundering of many horses and chariots rushing into battle. So you're surrounded by this din, this awful noise of uh, the beating of their wings of these locusts, the sting that they can uh, um, inflict and the imagery of what they look like. Terrible. Oh, here it says again, they had tails and stings like scorpions. They tormented people for five months and the angel of the abyss became lord over them. And we're told the angel of the abyss in the Greek is called Apollyon. So terrible imagery, uh, frightening. Hopefully it gets us to sit up and take uh, heed. Revelation chapter 9 verses 13 to 21. Then we uh, read about the sixth trumpet sounded by the sixth angel. And a voice is heard coming from the horns of the golden altar that is before God. And then verses 14 to 15, I will read. It is said to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. And the four angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. Then we see in verse 16, a multitude of troops, um, numbering approximately 200 million troops in formation. And verse 17 describes the horses and the riders. Their breastplates uh, are fiery red, a dark blue and a yellow as sulphur. And again, it says the heads of the horses resembled the heads of lions. Again, I don't know whether that's battle dress or whether these uh, horses are, you know, un unknown to us, of course, uh, features of lions that are actually like hybrid animals, um, half breed horse like uh, lions. I don't know. And out of their mouths came fire, smoke and sulphur. So a horrific, terrifying uh, imagery again. Verse 18 talks about a third of humankind being killed by the three plagues, the fire, the smoke and the sulphur that comes from these, uh, the mouths of these uh, beasts. Verse 19 talks about the tails of the horses and it uh, doesn't just describe them 
as flicking at the back of a horse as we would know it, but having the potency of a snake with the ability to bite. Again, horrific. And verse 20 uh, talks about the rest of humankind who still didn't feel it was right to repent. And I'm going to reread verses 20 to 21 now. The rest of mankind that were not killed by these plagues still did not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worshipping demons and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone and wood. Idols that cannot see or hear or walk. Nor did they repent of their murders, their magic arts, their sexual immorality or their thefts. So again, terrible imagery, destruction to all those that do not repent. And of course, that is the message of the gospel. Anyone who puts their trust in Jesus Christ repents of their sin and turns away and lives towards a life pleasing to Jesus. Prevents all this destruction that is to come. They are saved and redeemed. But anyway, we therefore see, if my reading of it is uh, understood to be correct, a third of the human population, it says mankind in this uh, version of the Bible that I'm reading, but I think that refers to humankind. A third killed in verse 15. A third killed in verse 18. And then a third killed in verse 20. Now again if you disagree with any of this as you read it uh, do comment underneath and uh, let us know but uh, I encourage you to read Revelation even the passages that we're looking at with the complexities and the uh, devastation, devastation and destruction uh, I encourage you to read Revelation in its fullness and the Bible and feel free to comment like and share this video of course what we've read today is putting light of the gospel the bible tells us that uh, those who put their trust in jesus christ will be saved will be redeemed and then that's a different chapter that's a different life for those people that put their trust in the lord as their uh, lord and savior in jesus christ so i pray that this will encouraging i pray it will strengthen you and i pray that it will um, invigorate you to actually live the life repent of anything that we read of in verse 20 and 21 anything that would be a barrier to you and jesus christ um you know uh, in that relationship uh, anything that would mar your holiness and turn from it repent and don't be caught unaware as these individuals, as we're told in Revelation chapter 9. God bless you all. Hope you have a wonderful day. Amen.